here we are again at La Fabrica, the old building I'm restoring. This video looks at the rather mucky business of where all the dirty water, and worse, will be flushed away. And an insight into the forward planning needed for one of life's basic functions. Originally, La Fabrica had no connection to main sewage. It was just a cesspit underneath the building itself. Everything just filtered into the ground. Probably why the garden was so lush and overgrown. Anyway, I was told by the water company that the nearest main sewer ran underneath this water-filled atheca, so making a connection there was a no-go. So we had to head to the nearest manhole, which was in the path adjacent to an empty building. At least there's no special paperwork needed to make the connection. Also, there's no need to employ expensive sewer contractors. You can just do it yourself, or even better, with a friend. It was quite hard going, as the path had been built using a lot of reinforced concrete. But we had a stroke of luck. Most of the route followed a mysterious hollow chamber. Well, that's gonna seem work. That saved a fair bit of work, albeit we had to crawl into a damp cavity, threading the waste pipe through it, and then fixing it to brick-built piers. Finally, after a lot of hard work, a fair amount of muck, sweat and spider's webs, the moan of truth, the breakthrough. All that remains now, once we've filled in the trench and holes, is to get some slabs to make good the path. So much of the pipework you put into a building is hidden underground or in the walls and ceilings, but it all needs to be thought about before you start the job and many pipes are buried at the very early stages. The ground floor in La Fabrica is beneath the sewer level in the lane, so we needed to build a pit to allow the waste and sewage to be pumped up into the sewer. I was always a bit worried about relying on a pump for a toilet, but we're fortunate that the first floor loo and the kitchen can flow with gravity. So we'll always have a backup toilet in the case of a backed up basement loo. The pit was then filled and tested for leaks. And then when the pump was fitted, the system was given a full test, obviously without solids. Some of the pipework was then boxed in and we used a sound insulating material, that yellow stuff for those pipes that pass through bedrooms. That's all for this dirty water video. The next video is cleaner and we'll focus on the water pipes for underfloor heating.